Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric and I create videos about automation and testing, Linux, open source, and I also do some coding on the side. If you're interested in that, subscribe. hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of the content I have planned in the future. That being out of the way, this video is about me showing you the 16 color version of Pywall in my already existing script, the Pywall image browser. If you're interested in that, stick around. And without further ado, let's dig into the video. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a little summertime recording of uh, Tester Tech. And yeah, I'm sitting outside as you can maybe see. Weather is very nice. So I decided to make a video and then show you some of the things I was working on in that regard. So as you may remember, I created a previous video about firewall and the image browser and stuff like that. So I want to extend upon that a little bit. So I have this uh, repository here. And of course I have to link the repository in the description. It's the same one I've been using for some time. And let me just uh, first I think it's not even necessary, but okay. Now in the virtual environment, and let's just run uh, Python main to show you what I have at this moment. So, this is the PyWall image browser, as you may know from the previous videos. If you're not sure about that, uh, I have a link popping up to some of the or maybe the last video that I showed in this regard. So, um, and also what I mentioned that last time I found a fork of Pywall, support 16 colors. So I have this button now here in my image browser. And if you hover over it, it says important only works with Pywall fork supporting 16 colors. So just be aware that this button is here if you are maybe using my script. Um, yeah, just be aware of that. Uh, default is off, and I can just use it like I normally do, or you would normally do. And let's open a new tab here. First wall V for the version. So this is indeed the version that supports 16 colors. Like I'll show you in the previous video. Uh, that fork is there. So, um, if you're using Dylan's repository, so the standard one, so let's open up a new window. Of course, it's a very well known one, but this isn't updated anymore. You can see there are 132 issues open, uh, 23 pull requests are not managed. So, this is atrocious for an open source project and where you see there are now 290 forks open so yeah everybody starts forking it and starts using it so there's not really that much governance but unfortunately the one that is produced by dylan here firewall is the one you install uh, using pip so yeah, that, that's very uh very annoying so let's so I've just showed you this one. So before we go into that, and it's basically this one. So it's uh, so GitHub. Uh, let's search. Uh, I think it's Pywall 16. Pywall wall 16. So uh, this one, and I just downloaded the the code of this zip. And let's look at this one. So you have the tags here and here. So 3.3.0, I guess that's the same version as uh, this one was stuck at, right? 3.3, January, indeed, same date. And this is the new one, 3.4.0. So this one, you can just download the, the source code. And I already did that. So let's go into CD, oh, that's Python. Set up the pi install for user. 
and this is installed again now. So here it is, this is the version. So it's creating this directory site package on local lib. That package is pywall. So uninstall should also work. Uninstall dash as user maybe. Invalid command. So mm, let's see if I can quickly uninstall it to show you. All right, so I see I made a mistake in installing. Avoid using Python setup install. Use pip install dot. That's uh, from the local directory, so that makes sense. And afterwards you could do, uh, if you just do install record files, then you can later remove these. But now I need to, uh, yeah, uninstall by hand, but that's okay. I'm install this one there. So I think if I remove this, Remove the directory. And also remove this. Wall. Should be okay. So pip. Uh, I think I uninstalled it now. So wall. Indeed. That's file directory. Okay, so normally you will do pip install uh, pywall, right? So that's what I also showed you in the, in the videos. And this will yeah, install the normal version of pywall, which is coming from this repository. So you don't want that. So, pip. But it's very easy to pip, do pip uninstall now. And it's, it's convenient, right? So let's go to downloads again. Ah, uh, before I do it. No, no, it's okay. So, let's downloads. Downloads. Buy this one. So, pip install dot. Okay. That's very good. So, this is very easy. So, good tip here. Because then you also would be able to pip uninstall it. So, wall. B, indeed, is the right version. So, very convenient way to do it. And what I want to show you uh, here, this is the, the new version with the 16 colors. So, let's say we have uh, the uh, wall clear. So, we're now clearing the cache. The, of the pie wall. So all these, if you generated a color scheme for this wallpaper or this or this, then it will have a JSON file in the directory stored here. Let me show it. So we have a wall here, schemes, so I have one. So if I wall clear, it will remove the cached wall. So every time you run it now, you generate a new one. Let's say I want to generate one for this, right? So I have Pywall open here of the image browser. I run a Pywall on it. See something happening indeed. Here. Yeah, uh, the, it didn't refresh. So yeah, this does indeed work. What I want to show you in this video, sorry I have a little bit hay fever with this uh, Sometimes you uh, will hear me sniffing a little bit. Sorry about that. So if you now, for example, run um, new fetch, you'll see here these, these are eight colors. Eight colors are being generated. All right, uh, now let's clear, oops. Let's clear it again. And double check. Indeed, it's empty now. If we tick the 16 colors now, we run the same thing. Ding. Let's uh, check. Yeah, indeed. Let's generate it again. And let's open up a new, a new window. 
for Neophytes again. And it should have done 16 colors. So let's try it again. Let's open up a new window. Neophytes. Yeah, so was a new session was needed. And yeah, and as you can see here, this is 16 colors. So it works. Just to summarize, if you use the fork version and you can do a pip install, just download these files. Do pip install. Don't uh, be like me. Do the pip install straight away. And if it doesn't, if you screwed it up, no problem. Just remove the files, right? So it shouldn't be an issue. And if you have that, and uh, then it's backwards compatible as well. You know, if you get the only eight, so maybe you should clean your cache. And if you have the image browser open, yeah, just tick this and it should pop up with a notification there. And as always, you can just uh, do get colors and uh, that should be the 16 colors in there. Yeah, that's uh, just about it. Oh, there's one, one thing. Maybe you saw it real quick. Uh, I have it here, a small thing. Uh, maybe want to include in this script. Let me know, guys, if you would like it. But this will write a wallpaper to a yeah, so desktop wallpaper here. So let's say you have this one, right? Uh, let's see. We have a new tab. Tab. Open. Open. Sync. Sync wallpapers. So this, I'm guessing, is Cyberpunk. Not pointing, but another one. Yeah, Cyberpunk Rooftop 5K. Let's uh, rename it. Copy the name. And let's put that in the script here. So here, sync wallpapers. And this is the name. Control V. And here so Cyberpunk. It's a subfolder. Right? Cyberpunk. Now if I have this snippet, this is just a simple shell script. If I have to implement it in this program, like on a water, or maybe a button, I don't know yet. If you would run this, where do I have this? Okay. Just in my home directory, cd home. So if it's selected by the image browser and then underwater, then it will apply it. So that will also solve the issue that it uh, doesn't support like setting wallpapers on KDE. I think I'm, I'm for it. So yeah, just add that to the Bible of this H script. But yeah, need to be careful not to overload this uh, because I have some technical debt in there, there as well. Here the polybar hack colors ini. Need to update that one as well. For the rest, it's, uh, it's okay. So uh, I added this firewall get and I have the comment here. And this is yeah, this is generate. So I have two arguments now instead of one. Let me open up the image browser in case you're thinking, well, what is she talking about? Uh, let's open this script image browser. So it could be in a different directory for you, but for me it's here. Uh, main. So this is the, the script I do have. Let's uh, check. Let me show you real quick. Uh, okay. So here I have the tooltip. So this TK Inter, in case you're interested. So to create like a GUI, cross-platform GUI, but most useful when you run Unix like operating system. This script, but uh, the toolkit is cross-platform, anyways. So the tooltip, I uh, touched on that, and here you have a variable, 16 colors. 
So if you take the box, 16 colors. This is, looks a little bit clunky, but yeah, it works. So maybe I'll refactor it later. And then you go here. And that's the function, run wall on image. And here we have the file name, of course. And if the if it's 16 colors, if it's true, then it will run the same script. I think I will make a constant out of it, but on the file name with calls 16 uh, as an argument added. If not, it will add an, a queue. Um, yeah, just to have an option because otherwise it would yeah, complain that it uh, yeah, didn't work because it expects two arguments basically. As you can see here, two arguments, and this will be then an uh, invalid argument. N is skipping. Oh, let me add that in the comments as well here. So dash N is skip setting wallpaper. Uh, PDA around. So dash N is because otherwise it would yeah, fail on this step. And it would not work. So I added the dash n there. It was complaining about Cubus, something like that. And I use fat to set the wallpaper anyway. As you can see here. So fat PG fill. I have it uh, in there. So yeah. So maybe I'll just add that function in here to also set the wallpaper on KDE. Save that. I think that's just about it and uh, now it supports 16 colors and also the, the original one and the GUI is a little bit adjusted to also show you at least that you are trying to use a version that's not supported so here are the 16 colors as a uh, hyper or tooltip oh yeah the tooltip uh, it's also uh, good. Uh, let's see. It's in helpers, in case you're interested. And I have a tooltip here, a class. So I was looking for all credits uh, where credits do. This is not my code. So I just picked it off uh, Stack Overflow and pasted it in here for the tooltip. And yeah, this just works. So here you have the self widget bind. Enter, leave. And button press. So, and this basically is a wrapper to show these tooltips, and this works fine. Works fine. So, uh, thanks a lot, user that created this snippet. Yeah, so that is just about it, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.